Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this particular video, we are going to learn about how to parse JSON data in JavaScript. Well, it is a must known concept if you are working with the APIs and storing data or just building modern apps, right? So I will explain you everything from the scratch. So let's get started. So imagine that someone sends you a letter, but it is in a code language and you need to decode it before you can understand that message. Well, that exactly that what we do with JSON. We use json.parse method to decode the data, right? So let's say that I'm having const, wait, wait for a second. Okay, let's say that we have const json data equals to, and we have some string data, right? So let's uh, take the data from here. I'm not going to waste time in writing it, right? So like this. So what do you think that what I'm having? You can see, what is it? Is it an object? No, it is not an object. It is a string. You can see it is between the, these annotation mark, right? And inside of this, this thing is the object. But the whole data is in a what? is in a string format well to convert it and to see the actual object from the particular string you need to use the json pass so for that we write const obj obj equals to json first you write the json and json should be in capital letter like this right and then we put dot then we put p a r s e parse parsing right and then we put a bracket and inside of this you write the name of the data this data right this particular variable because it is holding this string which is having a object right so we will write the json data here right like this now if you print this particular object then what you will get let's see console dot log and put a bracket here and write obj like this now if you go to your website and see the console is i'm getting anything wait you can see i'm getting a object now right earlier what we were getting if i print only console.log and if i print only json data right then what we will get we will just get a string here you can see i can't do anything with it right but when we do the json.pass then it converted this particular string into this format like this now you can use this data if you want to use this data then like let's say that i want i want obj.name i want to see only the name in that case you can see i'm getting this john i'm sep i'm able to separate the name right from the particular data right like this if i want obj dot age the particular data i want the age then you can see i'm getting this 30 right so this is how we pass the data from the json now if i want to uh, convert an object to a json string just reverse of what we did he here right we were having a object and later what we did we converted it into uh, earlier we were having a string and we converted into the object right now if i want to create another uh, data like const user equals to let's create an object here and i say that the name this time i'm creating an object right name is uh, let's say piyush comma sorry comma class let's say mm, three Okay, and let's say the marks is uh, something 45, like this. All right, so this is another data which is in a JS, uh, JSON format, or you can say the object in a particular object, right? Now, if I want to string it, convert the object into a JSON string, right? So, in that case, what we can do, we can simply write const JSON string equals to write again the JSON dot dot what stringify earlier we have written parse now we are doing what stringify 
then we put a bracket here and inside the bracket we write the variable that is user right which was actually object now we are converting this particular object into a string if you print this again let's first print the user and then let's print json string now you can see what we have created we have created an object which was looking like this right and after doing the stringify converted into a string we get this particular string earlier that we were converting this now we are making this right so this is how you can do this so json dot stringify is the opposite of pass and you use it when you want to send or store data uh, so it convert the object to a json string basically it is useful uh, when sending data to a server or saving to local storage right so i hope i hope that you get the concept very clearly uh, this is all about today's video if you like the concept and understood each and everything very clearly then make sure that you do subscribe the channel and like the video thank you so much for watching we will meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye